The aspiring Paralympians in our next story are all heading to Dunedin. Why? Because of one woman, Raylene Bates. Boom, boom, so you get up, up onto that left leg and follow it out. <clears throat> Big skip, boom. I'm a bit of what you see is what you get, but the movement was good. The body right from here, the drive through was really good. There's not too much pussyfooting around. You know, basically, if I've got a problem, I'll, I'll say it. Um, some people like that, some people don't. She takes as much enjoyment in our success as that we get ourselves. I will not be happy if we don't come home with a medal. I'll be honest. <laughs> and it'll be really good if it's gold one. <laughs> Sunday morning at Dunedin's Caledonian Athletics Track. For most people, it's a day of rest, but for two of New Zealand's most promising Paralympic athletes, they're arriving for their sixth day of training this week. Right there with them, coach Raylene Bates. Down, down, down. Down turn, so it's down, boom. The former international athlete and shot put champion has worked with some of the top names in New Zealand athletics including Beatrice Farmawena and Valerie Villi. Now, she's nurturing Paralympics' most promising prospects. Down, down, up! Good boy. Much better. Raylene had much, all but given up on coaching when Paralympics asked her to step up. I've been coaching now for just on 20 years, and I must admit, I was sort of getting to, was getting to the stage where it was like, oh, what am I going to do? Um, a lot of my athletes, we're retiring or going overseas, and um, I'd had a fairly strenuous four or five years prior to that, but it's given me a whole new inspiration with coaching. Um, the fact that they're all focused, so highly focused and so motivated to achieve the goals, it's, it's, it makes it easy for me to coach. Six days a week, Raylene Bates is here at the Caledonian Sports Ground training her stable of high-performance athletes. Raylene's reputation is so impressive many young athletes move to Dunedin to train under her and use her expertise to realise their sporting dreams. Good girl. That's better. 20-year-old Jess Hamill is just one of 16 athletes being trained by Raylene. Jess first started working with Raylene four years ago when she was still living at home in Invercargill. She'd travel to and from Dunedin every week to get her expertise. OK, not bad, not bad. OK? Just didn't quite finish it off, follow it right out. Legs were good, body was good, finish it off. OK? Follow it out, chase it goodbye. Under Raylene's guidance, Jess is now making a name in international circuits, competing in shot put, discus and javelin. Mostly she competes in Paralympic events, but for the Commonwealth Games, she travels as part of the New Zealand team and competes in events for athletes with a disability. I've got cerebral palsy and the difficulties I have is walking, but I can walk with crutches and calipers. It's just I don't have the strength and my knees are... There's heaps of um, different ways that people throw, but I have a special frame that's specially designed for me. Uh, you have like uh, tie downs that you tie it to the ground. It's like a, um, a bar stool with a pole kind of thing. And I hold on to the pole. It um, enables me to get momentum. Good girl, it's better. Rory McSweeney is an amputee who's honing his skills in the javelin. Rory has been a sportsman all his life but never at the elite level, until he caught Raylene's eye at a Paralympics talent spotting program late last year. Rory had applied, but he'd applied with the bike program as an expression of interest through them. But, so we'd gone to Auckland, bike were testing some ath uh, athletes and I was testing athletic athletes. And um, at the lunchtime, Rory bowled on over and uh, asked to have a go with the javelin, or toss the spear, in, was his words. And uh, so he had one go, and I was standing there and saw this javelin go flying out, and I said, well, you better have another go. 
And I says, ah, oh, just hold it there. I think I'll have you. <laughs> She gave me a few tips right then and there. It was probably one of our best sessions together, actually. Like, the German came out really well, so that was, I guess, just another... I was just had that feeling at the time that it was something, a place that I was meant to be in. Having recognised the potential of both Jess and Rory, Raylan is now doing everything she can to guide them onwards and upwards. Keep this feet to the front. That's it. Let's go. Boom! Instead of getting that big pull, remember? Back here, pull the body through. Yeah, it's, it's Come and look it up. He's got that grit and determination. He, but he's also got that um, <laughs> twinkle in the eye where <laughs> he's just, he's got a great personality. Quite, uh, quite a bit of a perfectionist. Likes to do things well, but he's very, very, um, how would you put it, smart about what he does See? as well. Oh. See how your feet aren't down first? Yeah. You've got to get those feet down before you pull. Yeah. Arms actually okay, but you've just got to make those, make yeah, sure those feet are down. Right. The big skip, feet down, boom, hit it. Okay. Right. He's a pleasure yeah. to coach. He really is. But he's a really neat guy. He's fitted in very, very well with our training squad. He gets on really well with the other guys, and um, you know. But he's very determined in what he wants to do. He's got his goals set, and you know he'll achieve them. He really will. They're not expecting Rory to peak yet. The coach's goal world record at the Rio Paralympic Games in 2016. Between now and then is a planned build-up using world champs and the London Paralympics. So keep those feet. OK. Right, that was better. That was better. Okay. He lost his leg as a three-year-old, but knows he was lucky the road accident didn't end his life. I was at the park playing with a couple of other kids, including my younger brother, and uh, wandered off onto the road up through some pretty gnarly scrub and managed to make our way onto the bridge and got hit by a truck. So, yeah, it had to be amputated below the knee, so that was quite fortunate. So the fortunate side of it is that I'd still, still have my knee. So in terms of, like, functionality, I've still got a lot of normal human movement as opposed to if it was above the knee, the limbs come with either no knee at all or a mechanical knee, so... It is quite fortunate, and, and I guess I've got my life too, so... So make sure those feet are quite forward <laughs> when you're coming in, not sideways. Make sure we're to the front. <laughs> oh. Rory has no track record yet, in the international sense. The other day you were down here, really, really low. Athletics and particularly throwing is a long process of learning the technique. You know, it's a whole, you know, 10,000 hour scenario and, you know, it's a training age and things like that. And he only started throwing at the end of 2009. He's been to one nationals in March. Uh, we've had to, you know, get limbs refitted, etc., etc., change technique, and you know, he's got a personal best of 38.86 at the moment. He's got to throw 41 metres for the world champs. Much better. Good. Much better. I'm very okay. confident that he's going to be doing that because he's doing it in training. And um, you know, he's got huge potential in front of him, a huge future, because at the end of the day, he's only 25. And um, again, he's young. He's got many Paralympics in front of him. And uh, you know, by the time we put that 10,000 hours in, well, who knows how far he'll be throwing. Well, in terms of competition, I started this year, so I had my first recorded throw at January and so I've been competing since then and then it, obviously London is the the main goal for making it to, making it there and then hopefully uh, go beyond that too to the back to the back to the back they were actually good throws much better than what we've had all the rest of the week they still were. not quite up to two weeks ago but you're only you know probably about this far away, which yeah, is yeah, great. Yeah, no, felt good towards the end of that okay. session, was good. Good. So we've got two more weeks and then that's it. Okay. Awesome. Well done. All right. Cheers. Stuff. <laughs>